How to clean up your email accounts. So what we will cover is how to effectively clean up your email. So this includes how to reduce spam emails, how to unsubscribe from email lists, and how to use sorting or filtering features. So we'll first go over how to reduce some spam emails. So for spam emails, spam emails is also called junk mail or spam mail. Spam mail refers to unsolicited messages sent in bulk to many different email addresses. Most spam appears in the way of relatively harmless emails from advertisers. So how you get there? One reason your inbox could be overstuffed is because of those automated emails that are sent out by companies and advertisers. You might have signed up to receive emails from your favorite stores. The unread emails have added up over time. The part of the problem is that they accumulate so fast and in mass quantities and it takes time to delete them. So how to stop, stop signing up to get more mail? Stop opting in. This is the process of clicking a button in response to an offer to receive valuable news and updates. When you click yes and give them your email address, you have subscribed to their automated email system. So how to stop getting emails from the current sources. Gmail and other email programs let you unsubscribe right from one of their emails. If you have Gmail, First, you go to a message from one of your subscriptions. Next, you click reply as if you're going to send a message. Next, you look for the prompt that says you can unsubscribe by clicking a link. And last, you click the link that says goodbye to those emails. And how to clean up your conversations in Outlook. So you use cleanup conversations to tidy up your email conversations and reduce the numbers of messages in your inbox. First, select an email conversation. Then you will select the arrow next to delete, then clean up conversation. Last, you would confirm by selecting clean up emails are sent to deleted items. So now we'll go over how to unsubscribe from email lists. So block or unsubscribe from emails. When looking for an unsubscribe link in your Gmail, usually it's very easy to find. You will scroll down until you see a small text that says subscribe or something similar. This typically belongs to the message. This typically is below the message. So let's say you don't want to look for links to unsubscribe. You can do it through clean emails email unsubscribe feature. This feature automatically captures all of your newsletter subscriptions and it allows you to unsubscribe with a simple click. But even if you subscribe with an email with the unsubscribe link or use clean email to block emails on Gmail, spammers will still send you unsolicited emails. So how to block or unsubscribe from emails on Gmail? On the mobile app, you can block certain email addresses. You do this by clicking more options and it should be next to the sender's information and you can choose the word block. And how to unsubscribe from email lists on iOS Apple. You can look for the option to unsubscribe at the top of a marketing related email once you have opened it. You will just click the unsubscribe button and confirm your decision then all future emails from this address will go directly into your spam folder. So for Apple iOS, it offers automatic detection for marketing emails and newsletters. This option allows you to unsubscribe from certain emails without hunting through each email to find the unsubscribe link. You will need to open up your inbox from your email provider's app or desktop to block spam emails entirely. So now we'll go over how to use sorting or filtering features. So for sorting, 
you would do this by go to delete unwanted emails from Gmail and use Google's built-in sections tabs within Gmail, which already filter emails into several different sections. To select bulk emails, click on the tab on the right and then click on the checkbox at the upper left. So using sorting, this should highlight all emails you can see on the first page. After you select the emails, you can tap the delete key. And to move things into trash, the emails will be moved to Gmail's trash. If you accidentally delete an email, it can be moved back out of the trash by clicking on the move command. So here is what it's talking about. And how to filter emails in Gmail. So the Gmail search boxes at the top of your screen can search filters for all things to help weed out unnecessary emails. Some commands that are useful to use are the before and older sections. So you can type in um, the date of the email that was sent before that time and it'll help you um, find the specific ones you're looking for. Okay, and filtering emails in Apple Mail. Turn on filters on. In the Mail app, click the filter button at the top of the message list or at the bottom. You can also click and hold the filter button, then choose enable message filter front the menu that appears. And filtering emails in Apple Mail, set a filter, which is choose a filter such as only from VIP from the menu. A check mark appears next to the filter. If you use more than one email account in Mail, you can filter a mailbox by account. For example, you can filter the inbox for just your iCloud account to show unread messages. So once again, thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson from a Cyber Seniors mentor, you can go to our website, cyberseniors.org, or you can call our number 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone call session. We also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 Eastern time on Thursdays.